What would you do if you were being attacked by hungry ghouls and murderous hunters? Would you be able to survive? In this video, I will show you how to beat Tokyo Ghoul. We see two friends are eating when one of them pulls out his phone, and the news channel is talking about ghouls eating humans. They don't seem too worried about this, which could be a horrible mistake in situations like these. One of them is reading a book while eating when his friend makes him drop it on the ground. A girl walks up and shows him that she is reading the same book. He is excited about this and takes this opportunity to ask her out. Before he asks her out, he should have taken the necessary precautions to avoid all flesh-eating ghouls. To make sure she is a human, he should try to make her bleed so that way he will know she is not a bloodthirsty ghoul. He doesn't do this, and we see they are out on a date. While talking, he notices the girl hasn't eaten any of her food which could be a sign that something is wrong, or that she is a ghoul. When on a date, most people will eat the food even if they are not hungry. This is a sign of respect, so for her not to eat the food would be enough for me to leave, even if she is not a ghoul. Later, his date goes in for a hug when she suddenly bites his shoulder. He runs and falls, but when he looks back up, he sees the girl's eyes have turned red. While leaning on a wall, the girl turns into a ghoul that has long tentacles coming from her back. In this situation, there is not much you can do. You will not be able to fight it off or run away, because it will be stronger and faster. You can try to persuade it to let you go by offering it more people to feast on. This ghoul will likely take the opportunity, because it will have no better option for finding humans to feast on which will buy you time to figure out a plan. The ghoul stabs him and brings him in closer. He thinks his life is over, but when he looks up he sees metal bars. Suddenly, the bars land on the ghoul and kill it, barely saving his life. When he wakes up, a doctor tells him that they took the ghoul's organs and gave them to him. This may sound good at first, but later we will find out why it's not. On the news, a doctor talks about saving his life, but doesn't tell the public where he got the new organs. A dead ghoul's organs inside of me would already creep me out. Not to mention the infections, diet changes, and all sorts of other things that may happen due to a ghoul's organs inside of me. Later, two guys are investigating a dead ghoul when they find a ring on it. These guys work for a company that specializes in killing ghouls. They learn that the ring means that the ghoul has a wife that is out there and plans on killing every ghoul they can find. He returns from the hospital and has dinner with his friend. When he tries to eat the food, he realizes that it is extremely hard for him to eat, and when he returns home, he can't have any fruit either. He looks into the mirror and we see his eye is red, just like the ghoul that almost killed him. He is now a ghoul and will have to eat people in order to survive. Later that night, he is walking when he starts to get extremely hungry. He tries to hold himself back from eating the people walking when he smells something delicious. He walks down an alley when he sees another ghoul feasting on a person. This ghoul offers him an arm when another ghoul knocks the guy's head off. A third ghoul is watching the whole thing and scares the other ghoul away. The girl offers him the arm, but he is too scared so he runs away. This was a perfect time for him to make an alliance with this girl and learn how to survive. They are being hunted all the time so this girl definitely knows a thing or two about surviving. Later he meets another ghoul that gives him human organs to eat. He takes the organ home and is about to eat it but can't get himself to, so he throws it away. He needs to get over the fear of eating human organs because this is the only way he will survive. Later, he meets with his friend and realizes the person in the white coat is the same guy he saw in the alleyway. This guy tries to take his friend to be eaten when he takes a golf club and hits him with it, but it does nothing. The guy's powers are shown, but he starts to show his powers too and easily kills the guy in the white coat. The girl from the alleyway and another ghoul walk into the room to stop him. This ghoul on the right talks to him and tells him that he is both human and ghoul. To find human bodies to eat to stay alive can be hard as a ghoul, especially if you are constantly being hunted. 
This is why they should start to think about eating dead bodies that are already in a morgue. This would help them find food easier, and it would be safer. The hunters are able to find someone wearing a matching ring, and they see their last known sighting was in a park, so they head out and try to find this ghoul. Two ghouls are walking when it starts to rain so they get cover. The hunters show up and the mother ghoul fights them off so her daughter can run away. From a distance, we see the hunters take a weapon and kill the mother and the daughter see it all. This ghoul on the right hears the news and heads out to kill the hunters. She wears a mask and tries to ambush the two hunters and is able to kill one of them, but runs off when the other hunter injures her. The main character has had enough of the hunters, so he decides to take matters into his own hands. He can't fight off the hunters without training, so he learns the basic skills and eventually learns how to use his powers. He finds one of the hunters in their car, so he flips the car and it crashes into a building. He has his new mask and starts to fight with the hunter, but the hunter is more experienced and knocks him down. He should have planned this attack better. He could have used his powers and easily killed the hunter before he could use his weapons. When he gets back up, he jumps onto the hunter and bites him. They get into a long fight and before he falls, he is able to hit the hunter off the ledge and the hunter falls onto the car. The main character walks away and continues his journey as a ghoul. That is how the movie ends. I hope you all enjoyed this video on Tokyo Ghoul. If you enjoy this content, feel free to check out my other videos.